It's possible to fail a drug test resulting from the intake of secondhand marijuana smoke. Several scientific studies confirm this fact. This is especially likely if you spend time near weed smokers in a non ventilated room. However, if you were exposed to secondhand smoke only once and it was outdoors, you don't have cause for worry. In this video, we'll explain how much THC from secondhand smoke penetrates your system. The United States National Institute of Drug Abuse reports that only 20% to 37% of the THC is inhaled during smoking. 23% to 30% of the THC is destroyed through heating. 40 to 50% of the THC is lost in the side stream. This side stream THC is what you can inhale as a secondhand smoker. One modern joint may contain between 60 to 150 milligrams of THC or more. Let's follow the worst scenario and imagine this situation. A person near you smoked a joint with 150 milligrams of THC. You inhaled all of the secondhand smoke. Let's calculate how much THC will be in your system after this inhalation. Before we continue, I'd like to tell you about proven solutions that will help you to rid your system of weed. If you wish to quit marijuana or simply need a tolerance break, or if you have a big job offer on the table and need to quickly pass a drug test, this kit is for you. It will permanently clean your system from all traces of marijuana in seven days. If you're limited in time and need to quickly pass a drug test, use the Fast Marijuana Detox Kit. It temporarily flushes marijuana metabolites out of your bladder and allows you to pee clean. The kit starts working in 90 minutes and is effective for up to five hours. To get any of these kits, follow the links in the description. Important note, the following calculations are approximate. It's impossible to make precise calculations because the results depend on age, weight, body fat, etc. However, using these calculations, we can understand whether or not it's ever possible to fail a drug test from secondhand smoke. The excretion half-life of THC is approximately 31 hours for infrequent users. This means that half of the THC will be excreted from your system in 31 hours. According to a scientific study that will assist in our calculations, if there are 27 milligrams of THC in a joint, the amount of THC COOH in a smoker's urine will peak at 180 nanograms per milliliter after four hours. You inhaled 75 milligrams of THC, 50% of the original 150 milligrams, as a secondhand smoker. This inhalation will result in 500 nanograms per milliliter concentration of THC in your urine after four hours. After 31 hours, the concentration will be 250 nanograms per milliliter. After 62 hours, it will be 125 nanograms per milliliter. The concentration will drop to 32 nanograms per milliliter after 124 hours. This concentration of THC is below the 50 nanograms per milliliter cutoff of the urine drug test. As you can see, according to this case study, it will take at least five days for the concentration of THC, COOH, in the urine to drop below the detectable level. As a reminder, this is an example of the worst scenario. It will happen if you inhale all of the side stream smoke. If you're in a well-ventilated room and someone smoked one joint near you, there's most likely no need for you to worry. If, on the other hand, you spend a lot of time in a closed room with several weed smokers, you'll more than likely test positive. In one study, six cannabis users smoked cannabis cigarettes in a room. Six non-smokers were seated in an alternating manner with the six cannabis smokers. In total, there were three sessions of this study. Sessions 1 and 2 were conducted with no ventilation, but in session 3, ventilation was employed. Maximum THC COOH, concentrations for non-smokers was 57.5 nanograms per milliliter. THC COOH concentrations generally increased with THC potency. However, room ventilation substantially reduced exposure levels. 
The results of this study demonstrate that inhaling secondhand weed smoke can produce positive urine tests. If you missed anything or have any questions, please leave a comment and let us know. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful. If you want to learn more about passing a drug test, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.